When the doors arrive, the next thing is to take them and spread them. That means put each door next to the opening it goes to, verify the swing, the size, all of that stuff. Get out the tools to hang, the nail gun, shims, level, and start hanging doors. Once they're all hung, then they get cased, and then of course space can be run. And then the painters come in and pop the doors off the hinges, take the hinges off, and then take the doors out and paint them. This time is a little different. I ordered these doors standard height, 6'8". The house has lower ceilings, and it's some really interesting architecture, but one of the drawbacks is that a lot of standard things don't fit, doors being one. All of the area that where that interior doors go, the doors are too sick, so I have to to cut down the doors and the jams, which means I have to take the screws out, pop the doors out of the hinges, cut the doors, and then cut down the jams. And then before I put them back together, go ahead and set up and spray the doors and spray the jams, then put them back together and take them in and hang them. First, I'm gonna start by prepping the doors to be hung. It's only 10 minutes till four. It's too early to quit work, but it's too late to set up the sprayer to spray all the doors and jams. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. The GoPro Hero 10 overheated, just as my nine did and my eight did and my seven did. They're just so small. And when you run them long periods of time, it's just something you have to live with. So if you didn't see it all, what I did here was set up plastic against the wall to staple, then I, and I came out with the tail on the floor and then I put these heavy tarps on top of that and I'm going to spray against the wall as well as I'm going to set up the doors freestanding out here tomorrow. But what I've done is taken the tarps and, and flipped them up and to kind of protect the doors because we're outdoors. Tomorrow I'll just drop the tarps down, set up the doors, get everything the way I want it. Then I'll get the sprayer out, set up the sprayer and go to spraying. And I'll get a better job than if I tried to do it today and went late. I'll be using my Titan six-stage HVLP. It's the 115. That's their most powerful one. It's a pretty amazing sprayer. I really like it. I haven't used it a lot. I've had it a couple of years, but now I have a lot of opportunity to spray with it. And I still have to learn the adjustments and stuff, but I'm paying, painting with a real high-quality finished paint from Sherwin-Williams. It's a urethane and it's uh, pretty thick, but I'm not having to thin it down, at least so far, I'm getting a nice finish. When I'm doing the doors, they'll have a bigger surface, so I'll be a little more careful and I may do some practice on some big pieces of cardboard as I'm getting dialed in. Everything is labeled, Chris took care of that, taped over the, lay over the markings on the hinges. We do that, pull the hinges right, right on the bare wood there and then put a piece of tape over it. I'll spray over that tape and then when I'm done, I'll peel it. I can see what door, what jam. Theoretically, they should all be identical with the jigs that do the 
butt hinge mortising. Uh, but I have found that it depends on the person setting it up. It's still got a lot of human interaction. And so they can be slightly different. So I like to stick with the door and the jam that were cut together so that I know they'll fit. At least they'll fit as good as they did at the factory when they were put together. I really appreciate you dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.